You're going to love this one, and spoiler alert, you're probably going to want one as well. Hello and welcome to AAR on Air, and this week's review is of the world's first folding survival rifle, or so they claim. And I must admit, I don't think I've seen its like before. It is as unobtrusive a thing as you could possibly hope for, and could carry around and no one would really know what you have in your hands. But it can go from this to this as quick as that. Now just how good is that? Told you you're going to want one. So how does it do it? I'll go through it a little slower. It starts in the closed triangular position and shape and it will keep most people guessing and then simply press the slim lever on the butt and the whole thing starts to come apart or at least open. The whole thing is in three uh, linked parts and effective, effectively it has two hinged points. The butt is attached to the main body and is simply rotated through 60 degrees and locks into place. Then turn your attention to the barrel part. This will also swing through 60 degrees and lock into place, just as any brake barrel would. But you've then notice you've got a cocking lever hanging loose. This is because it allows the barrel to be broken without being cocked. This part needs to be locked into place using the lock unlock switch on the side and this will then bring the barrel action into play and the gun can be cocked with a pellet seated in the barrel ready for action as it were so how simple was that once together it is a pretty good looking rifle and is nicely balanced for something that surely is completely built around compromises this is available in black and tan, or tan and black. In black and tan, the rifle is all black, and the water-resistant case in the middle is in tan. This case can be sealed, and but is foam-filled and can be used to keep your ancillaries safe, such as your silencer, red dot, or spam sandwiches or indeed whatever takes your fancy the tan gun however is literally a tan colored rifle with a black box not the sort of box you want to sit next to on a plane but the sort that you want to keep your sandwiches in and it'll keep them nice and dry. Now this is a very customizable bit of kit because the front has a half inch UNF thread for a silencer. There is a fixed front open sight with a fully adjustable rear if you fancy a bit of open sights, no frills type of shooting. Or you can make use of the Picatinny rail along the top and add a red dot or scope. The good thing here is that because it's Picatinny, this can be removed and packed away and returned to the rifle without the need to re-zero, keeping this compact principle in mind. It's not overly heavy at 3.66 kilograms or 8 pounds 1 ounces and not too long either at 108 centimetres or around 42 and a half inches. Naturally, adding a scope and a silencer will add weight and length, but not ridiculously so. I personally think it looks quite amazing and I just love new ideas. Of course, anything of this type is going to have to have its compromises, but there is nothing here that would put me off. The grip is angled back at 60 degrees, as you would expect, to allow this to fold into three parts. Of course, casting your mind back to school days, 180 degrees is in a triangle, so three lots of 60. 
but the grip remains perfectly usable and after a handful of shots you don't even notice that angle. Now you haven't got a multi-shot magazine but don't shout too loudly because they may well surprise us all in the future at some point although I am not aware of anything in the offering at all so don't think there's one coming. And to be fair, it's no detriment. Sometimes simple is best. This thing has even got rails on both sides to add other toys if you want. The safety is an integral trigger design and is push forward for fire, pull back for safety. And it is an automatically applying trigger every time you cock it. Time to get this over the chronograph and see if it's up to the full power claim. Because this is the UK version, so under 12 foot pounds is the order of the day. This is the 177 calibre version with 8.44 grains on board then. It saw 754 feet per second, which is 10.66 foot pounds or 14.45 joules. So time to try some heavier 10.34s then. This time it saw 695 feet per second, which is just over 11, at 11.09 foot pounds or 15.04 joules. These figures mean it's capable of plinking, target work and some pest control without any issues. It's also likely to loosen up after time and these figures could well increase. Well, it's flexible enough, powerful enough, but is it accurate? Now I'm going to drop a scope on this one, which should hopefully keep it nice and compact still and have perfect balance. I'm going to drop a Veyron on for us. Then we'll see out at 40 meters if indeed I can hit anything with it. Here goes. Well, how different is this? It's not a difficult job to actually prep it. It takes seconds and you're there. The next thing, of course, is to simply drop your scope on. Now, this was zeroed with this scope, just very roughly. I think out of half a dozen shots. And there you go. That is a nice idea, a really nice idea. I love it when somebody comes up with something different and talk about Day of the Jackal. Now, you're probably too young to remember that film with, I think it was Edward Fox of all people. But what a piece of kit. How quick is that to put together? You can, of course, just leave the scope on. It just looks better uh, or less conspicuous if you haven't got the scope on. You've got the box to still be able to put other stuff in. You can put a silencer on it. I don't need to. I've got nobody around, so it doesn't really matter. And it's just, I just think it's amazing. It is a different thing to use. Most of the weight is in the centre, if not a little out the front, because this, of course, is uh, polymer. The, the back part is polymer. Not that it's any detriment, because I'm going to be resting anyway got open sights if you want to use open sights to so say i've just dropped a scope on but you could put most anything on including side bipods because you've got side weaver rails as well it is very simple to use i've actually got this time which goes against most everything i do i've actually got a 2-2 rather than the 177 the tan and black box is a 177 that I've got, but this is a 2.2 and I thought I'd give it a go. Normally, as I say, 177, but in this case not. I do think it's a really, really good idea. That said, it's a nice day. We've been waiting and waiting and waiting for a nice day. We've got a tail end of some wind, but not to worry. And we're gonna shoot out at about 30 to 40 meters. I haven't measured it exactly. It looks about 35-ish. And see the results. Now, the thing to note with this is it has quite a long trigger. But, hey, it's a budget gun, and a lot of the, the money has gone into actually making this thing actually work. It's automatic uh, safety, 
on there so it clicks straight on as soon as you do it and I just like it I do quite like it now I've got a low bag so I might be struggling a little bit but we'll give it a go let's see how we get on shall we wind is starting to get up a bit but I'm not complaining because it's dry We're starting to see a bit of a group form which is nice when I said I zeroed it in I didn't make that good a job of it but at least it's the grouping that we can see and there's no point in re-zeroing it halfway through yes it's actually starting to touch nicely the first one well it's just a case of getting used to it and the trigger pull as soon as you get used to that automatic safety, it's really no detriment. Yeah, it's starting to group quite nicely, isn't it? I could carry on, and I, I, I will do, but not just to bore you guys. I do like it. I like it. It's 200 and something quid, 265 pounds. I've probably spoilt the... Uh, the end bit by telling you that I've put a Veyron scope on it it's actually got a 6 to 24 but you know what I think a 3 to 12 second focal plane which is quite a budget scope um, price wise but not quality wise would fit really really nicely on that I think it looks the business whether you want black or tan well that's down to individuals uh, I personally think the black looks nice with the black scope, but if you're shooting open sights or you like your military type stuff, then the tan is going to be right up your street. Somebody's going to turn around and say, can you get the black box with the black gun? No, you can't. They've decided to mix it as simple as that, but you could buy two and swap them over. It is quieter with the silencer on the end, undoubtedly, but as far as a tool to use that you can then put in a bag in your let me get this out I've done that wrong there we go that you can put in the boot of your car or something like that I don't I, I, I can't honestly say that I've ever seen anything else that equals it I'm trying to do it and talk at the same time which it's that way around I got it and there you go even with the scope on it's not a problem at all it also comes by the way with a bikini to put over the end of the barrel and the back of the breech so it keeps it nice and tidy as well so everything they've thought of everything on that and i say it's not a lot of money but it's an awful lot of gun i like it i like it a lot they're gonna go like hotcakes they are they're really good yeah it's called the bm8 it's by black bunker You've probably never heard of them but fabulous i think you'll probably be hearing more of them in the future i do like that i like that a lot back to the studio in fact i'll have a walk well not at all shabby and whilst it isn't an epic two on accuracy it isn't epic price either this is really something to have tucked away in readiness for whatever may arise a plinking session, a spot of pest control, or Bruce Willis giving you a heads up about the forthcoming Armageddon. You get the idea. 
I just love it when manufacturers break the mould a little and dare to do something different. And this is not only different, but capable too. Moreover, it's pretty much guaranteed to put a smile on your face right from the initial opening out of the box, which is Toblerone shape. The good thing is, on this one, it's not gun shaped. So you can get this past the missus and she will have no idea that you've just bought another gun. That said, it isn't going to break the bank anyway, and this will set you back around £265 UK. So, you're not going to have to sell one of the kids. It's accurate enough, and of course, as we've said, cheap enough. People say, I always enjoy guns I shoot. Well, you're not far from being right, to be fair. But when you get something like this to play with, <laughs> what's not to like? Hopefully you've enjoyed this too. If you have, please give us the old thumbs up, subscribe and click the alarm notification bell. There is all this lot to take a look at and of course check out the 88R On Air website. As always, a big, big thank you to Vector Air for getting hold of this for me to review and generally lark about with. They are just great. Now, I don't bite at trolls, but this one did cross the line a little, and as such I find myself giving it the comment of the week, a Mr Gary Bagshaw. I'm aware that several people have crossed his path and found he is a particularly unfiltered and seemingly troubled individual. Everyone had a terrific time at the British shooting show this year, but it would appear there was the odd one out, whether he was actually there or not. Making comments like this one. Well, I wouldn't ask that cabbage on the left or any of his team. I've never met this individual and he has never met me. He obviously didn't receive any lessons in manners from his mother as a child or anyone else for that matter and is either a painfully unhappy and unintelligent individual or unhealthily over-opinionated. I suspect probably a bit of both. I can only say that I am really sorry you appear to be so bitter and twisted, making conclusions like that about someone you don't know the first thing about, and have never met. And I really hope you're able to get some help, and I hope things get better for you very soon. By the way, the guy on the right is not that troubled individual. Far from it. He was a real pleasure to spend time with. A really nice guy. That's it for this week. A big thank you goes to you guys for watching and supporting the channel. Stay safe and shoot safe and hopefully I'll see you next week with some more stuff. <laughs> Bye for now. <laughs> it's just cool, either. <laughs>